Ah, uh, Dale back with you again. It's Christmas time and it looks like Santa Steinberg has dropped down the chimney and decided to give us all a Christmas gift in the form of a major update to the portable version of Cubase, Cubase 3.7, and also dropping its Iconica, a brand new mobile orchestral sound module. Thanks to Steinberg for sending over the pre-release, but as ever, they didn't tell me what to say and the following views are all my own. I'll just start with a major bombshell. The new Cubase's update now has tempo and time signature tracks, just like its older brother. And to be honest with you, I could just stop the video right there and that would be a good enough update for me. But there are some other tweaks and Easter eggs, or Christmas eggs. So let's dive in and take a look. So this feature we've been waiting for forever. All you have to do is add a global track into Cubasis and look, we have tempo and time signature. We can draw in using our pencil tool. We can snap, we can ramp, we can jump our tempo and add in as many exotic time signature changes as you want to. This feature seems to have been really well implemented. In fact, I couldn't actually get it to crash and your loops are gonna walk to your tempo fine, so you can pretend to be Fat Boy Slim. The one thing I would say is that I haven't managed to import a MIDI file with tempo or time signature changes. I couldn't get that working personally. Uh, I might be wrong, let me know in the comments. But this is a brilliant start, and this makes Cubasis so much more of an actual door. Uh, you also have now the ability in beta to use up to 64 inputs and outputs on a physical interface. That's insane. So literally, you could do a multi-track recording from a sound desk if you're doing a live event. Also new is the mobile orchestral sound module Iconica, which has 34 orchestral instruments from brass, woodwind, strings, percussion, all the major food groups and all the major articulations as well, including legato, spiccato, marcato, pizzicato, sustains, vibratos and more. This is really good for orchestral composing on the move. Uh, what I would use this for is doing mock-ups and then maybe take it into Staff Pad or take it into Cubase Pro and use some of my other full orchestral libraries to sweeten it up. Steinberg have actually partnered up with Orchestral Tools for the Iconica series sounds, which explains why I like them so much. I love the Berlin series. A special mention for the trumpets, which I think sound excellent. And a lot of the sounds respond to the mod wheel for dynamics. So that's a lovely touch to add a little bit more life to the sounds. Pitched percussion can often sound excellent on orchestral libraries, and this is no different. Uh, the Celeste is one of my faves. And the glockenspiel. A lot of the sounds have key switches. So for example, with the timpani, you have rolls that you can switch to either using the interface or a key switch. And since this is being recorded at Christmas, let's do some tubular bells. I quite appreciate the way that Iconica maps the percussion across the keyboard, but not only that, it actually gives you a description of the instruments that are mapped to each key. This is something that no one ever seems to do, so it's a nice touch. There's plenty of usable sounds there. 
It's a 1.8 gigabyte download and it's available standalone or in AUV3 plug-in format so you can use it with any mobile workstation you want to. It's also available on Android directly through Cubasis and on Android there aren't that many good options for plugins, let's be honest. So this is a really nice touch having this for Android as well. Strings sound pretty decent too. I've added some Pro R2 reverb to give it a bit of life. Have a quick listen to the winds, uh, the flutes we'll start with. And just a quick listen to the oboe. The bassoon. But the gift giving in Cubasis doesn't stop there because it's the 50th anniversary of the Yamaha DX7 and FM synthesis. Yamaha have added over 380 presets to the FM classics in app purchase. Some of these sounds are brilliant. Take a listen. Literally the staple of 80s ballads and you've got so many different options now for electric pianos. The synth lead presets literally feel like we're composing the Grand Theft Auto soundtrack. And of course the FM synths were known for their bass sounds. After my outro, I am going to randomly noodle through some more of these presets so you can get a good deep dive into these sounds. All in all, a couple of great updates from Steinberg. The tempo tracks make this so much more usable as an actual digital audio workstation. So, kudos, and it's onwards and upwards from here. Happy Christmas to you all, and thank you to Santa Steinberg.
Woo! <laughs> 